just gonna rest for a second. Here we were, ready to go up China Pass again. The same place where Mike hit that cow. I like standing up. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm on an overpowered Segway. Here, at the foothills, things are pretty easy. We were really hopeful that this time we were going to make it all the way to the top. Through this area, it started to get a little rough, but it wasn't too bad at all. And I had no problem negotiating as long as I was standing up. As we climbed higher and higher, it got more difficult. I was beginning to get so tired that I could barely stand up. So we stopped here, we took a little break to see the view. The wide angle lens of the camera just doesn't do justice here. After a few seconds, we continued on and things got progressively worse. The higher we climbed, the rockier it got. The rockier it got, the harder it was to hang on. But even though it was difficult to hang on, it still was sort of easy as long as I kept my speed up. A simple thing that I would forget later on this ride. Now even though this time standing up and having a little more skill made it easier riding up this mountain, it was still a little nerve wracking to be that close to the edge and getting bounced around by all these rocks. Trying to hang on for dear life here. Standing up. Here's the first of many stalls. The more fatigued I got, the less I could pay attention to my technique, and I kept letting the bike slow down too much, and it would stall. All right, looks like we're getting to the top of the path. Look at that, it's beautiful. As I rounded this corner, it was bringing us to about the halfway spot going up this mountain. I was glad we were going to take a break here, and I broke out my phone camera and took this shot of Mark looking out over the valley. It was a short break and then we were off again. Holy 
got some snow or ice still left over. That makes things a little more interesting. Well, not really. The snow was not even close to as bad as I thought it was going to be. In fact, it was pretty easy riding over it. We did. We took a wrong turn. So while I watched Mark struggle with his bike, I was getting ready to rip it and just spin it around. A newly learned skill, which I quickly screwed up. <laughs> Nobody saw it, but that wouldn't be the last time I dropped my bike to this day. This is the spot that beat us the last time. We were determined to get over it this time. Too bad determination isn't enough. I was wore out. Damn, it got me. I'm just gonna rest for a second. Well, I took a short break and then I decided to roll the bike back down the hill so I can get a running start and try it again. Just backing it up was really difficult. I got really worn out. But I wasn't going to let it stop me. This bike was going over that ledge one way or another. Well, I got it up there. But at this point, I was just too tired to try and pick it up. I really needed to take a break. I figured the guys, they'd notice I wasn't there, maybe come back for me. If not, I'd do it myself. Thankfully, Mike showed up. Shortly after Mike showed up, Mark came down too, and it was nice to have a help in hand to get the bike back up. We took a long break there, and then we got right back to it. This time I tried to be a little more aggressive, but every now and then I let up on the throttle and there she goes. In my defense, when these rocks are throwing the front of the bike left and right and you're looking at a cliff on your left side, you'd rather pull the clutch in and, or let it stall than go over the edge. Although I'm exhausted here, I'm not ready to quit. This is the farthest I ever made it up this mountain, even though it's only my second time. The thought was, I made it this far. I'm going to get aggressive, and I'm going to get up there. It's really sad that these action cams don't really do justice and give you a real good sense of how steep these hills are. At this point, I feel like I'm doing a really good job. I'm feeling really aggressive, like I'm kicking ass. Little did I know, my friends were having trouble. Woo! This uh, enduro stuff's a bitch. <laughs> I walk down the hill, see if those guys need help, and it looks like Mike's bike is leaking oil again. 
So we're just a few feet from the top here, it seems like. And we gotta turn around and go back down. Oh. China can't kick ass again. It might seem like we're only a few feet from the top. I assure you, there was much further to go. But I had to keep going up to find a place to turn around. I guess I have to get the spot to turn around. We're almost there. A couple more switch back. Getting turned around here, I went back down the hill to meet up with the guys, thinking that this would be the end of the trip. I had no idea I was gonna have to go back up all this stuff. We're about three or four turns from the top, dude. <laughs> it was, I didn't get all the way up there. I found a spot to turn around. I figured you guys were waiting. I better get over here. No, I turned around to come back. I don't want to make it up there without you. Bike ever expelled radiator fluid out of this tube here? Uh, no. Why is it hot? I mean, my bike was smoking. I, I got stuck right here. When I jumped off the bike, I couldn't start it. It, it died. Um, so the bike started smoking, and I'm like, why is it smoking? I look, and there's radiator fluid dripping down over the, the exhaust and everything else, and it's. Oh, I thought it might be oil. You're good, man. Let's fix that shit up there. Well, why is it I gotta do this again. Yeah. Talking to the camera. Ah, I'm so tired. I think we should go one person at a time here. This time I decided aggressive was the way to go, so I took it aggressively. I saw Mike here and thought maybe he needed help, but I'd keep going to the top and walk down if he needed it. It was right about here that I started to realize how much further we had to go. Shit. Here we stopped and watched Mark going what looked like the last stretch up to the top. It looked pretty scary from down here. You wanna attempt it? Hell yeah, what did we come up here for? Okay, we set off huh? If you have a problem, I don't wanna have to walk all the way down for it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm sitting here laughing like an idiot. The fact of the matter is, it's going to be Mike that has to come walking down for me. For those guys, this was just an easy little climb to the top of the hill. For me, this would be the gauntlet of death. <laughs> By this point, I am completely exhausted. But I'm trying to stay aggressive. But as the bike starts bouncing me around and I keep sitting down, I'm just getting tossed everywhere and having trouble keeping directional control. Nothing like a spike through the rubbing of your hand to really get you going. This actually turned out not to be so stupid. I was actually going to get off the trail and try to get some more traction by riding here on the side in the grass. The problem was that I thought I was being stupid by doing this, so I went back to the trail and immediately stalled it again. You, damn it. Obviously, I was very frustrated at this point, but I had been determined I'm going to make it to the top. Mike suggested that we walk the bike up or Maybe I let him ride it to the top, but there was no way I was not going to get to the top of this mountain on my bike riding. The 
fatigue sets in again and gets the better of me. Hey, I'm closer! <laughs> but ever the optimist, right? So I sat down to take another little break and enjoy the view. This is beautiful. Wait for Mike to catch up. Yeah, I'm tired. Besides laying it down in the first place, you know what the crappiest thing is about laying your bike down 20 times? Picking it up 21 times. I am so exhausted at this point. I have absolutely no strength left. Got back on it, got it up here. I was waiting for them. Finally got it to the top, but I forgot to start the camera. There's the peak. Mark went ahead of us, already wants to pre-run it. Now he's going up there again, so he can get some shots of us coming up. He says it's not that hard, but he's a lot better than that. <laughs> so there it was, right in front of me, the final stretch the home stretch to the peak. I'm finally gonna crest the top of China Peak. Mike and Mark were already up there waiting for me and I would drop the bike no more on the way up. Now on the way down, that's a different story. So which way should I go, forward or backwards? <laughs> wow, look at that. I got the camera going good. Is, there, is the red light on? Yeah. Good. U.S. Geological Survey. Elevation above sea, 7125. Nice. Well, if we put it up here, we get a couple more inches. So there it is. We made it to the top, and then we had to head back down the same way we came up. But that's an adventure for another time. And so I'll make another video about that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>